Hey there everybody and welcome back to Siege. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I just went on a week-long vacation and I'm not too sure where we left things. So, we're going to take a minute to re-familiarize ourselves with the roster. Obviously, we're back here on Rewind, the series where we reset the NBA and try to build a team throughout history. That team, of course, being the Boston Massacre. Um using the best uh, basketball simulation game on the market, basketballgm.com. Go check them out if you haven't already. They're pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little thing that they've got running. Uh, you know, if you like anything that you see here, this is uh, the place to get. <coughs> Completely free of play, which is always one of the benefits. Looks like we've got a few 50s. Let's look at the power rankings. Okay, so we're pretty bad. Um, is is it just... Do we just need a tank? Is that the way to go? Um, Dolph Shays. Okay, so there are a few decent guys available, I guess. Um, Bob Cousy will be available. It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like we're getting anyone special until 1955. And then you're getting Tom Goa and Maurice Stokes. So it's like, you only need a top two pick, but yeah. Um, we're definitely tanking in the 19, um, 1958. We'll try to get Elgin Wilt together. Um, and then Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson and Wilt obviously is uh, the better combination, but... Elgin and Wilt, they know how to play together. Elgin, of course, as knows how to have a major impact on a franchise, leading a team to the finals in his rookie season after being selected number one overall. If you didn't know that, you do now, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what the play is here because, okay, we just need to become good. That's really what it is. I guess we'll trade Bill Roberts here. Can they get me anything decent for Bill Roberts? It's not looking like it. Things are looking grim. God. Um, do we have any picks at least? Okay, we have a we have one pick from Washington apparently. Jeez, things are not looking good for us. If you're wondering what's going on here, up here in the top left corner, I have video that I forgot to record. Uh, I forgot to record. No, not that I forgot to record, that I forgot to post before I went on vacation. Uh, so that's what that is. Um, yeah. Okay, well, um, I think we're just going to be bad and have to live with it. That might realistically be what happens here there's nothing that we can really do to make us a contender or anything close to it so damn okay um who do we have locked up do we have everyone locked up on long-term deals uh, okay we have three expirings and all of them are bad yeah yeah, yeah. okay okay so here's what we'll do is, um, we'll put all our good people at the bottom of the bench, give them zero minutes, and absolutely tank. Like, a ridiculous, unhealthy amounts of taking. George Piercy, I really want you getting zero minutes. Like, I'm not joking with you right now, I'm sorry. Really wish I was, but uh, this is one of those times when we need to be bad and we need it now. Um, we'll go ahead and just sim till the end of the season because nobody wants to see this actually. Yeah, yeah, actually, um, yeah, just go until the playoffs. Nobody wants to see what this is going to look like because we just are so far out of contention, it doesn't make sense to try and stick at the middle of the pack or make a low seed playoff run because it just backfires so badly for us in the long term. Uh, 
because we really need those high or er, those high picks. Do I have something here? Yeah, I do. I've never opened that application, or er, I've never opened that in my life. Use Gmail clearly, but whatever. My computer likes to bug out sometimes. Somehow we still managed to get a few wins on the season. Not particularly sure how that all worked out, but uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, great, and there are expansion teams, because why not? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm aware owner. I know that we had a bad year, but yeah. Yeah, I'll figure something out, okay? Obviously, we stay with Boston because we don't jump ship just when things are getting scary. Do I like this? I might not like this. I'm going to have to like this. I'm going to say yes because we have to. Until the end. I'm sure we lost somebody. Yeah, we lost Leo Mogus, Warren Fenley. Not what you love to see, but... Now is the time when we need big things. Big time players. Um, looking here, Dolph Shays is the highest overall 21-year-old. He can easily make up for two overalls. Um... They're both bad at three-pointers, which means they'll be pretty good because three-pointers don't exist yet. Joe Bradley, I guess, fell to us. Um, good for him. <laughs> um, what's he good at? Oh, he has an eight three-pointer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him me. Or give him to me. Jeez. Just got off the road to get back home and my brain's a little mush. Uh... Yeah, no, we don't want either of you coming back. Please never, ever contact this organization again. Of course, no one wants to sign with us. Because, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of... Is that negative 30? Okay, that's negative 36. I just saw them with negative 30. Jim Brown, fuck you two. Wow. Okay. We're in rough shape, and I'm not going to deny it. In fact... We're in such rough shape that I might do a doubleheader season. I might this this video might be our first ever doubleheader. You're going to get two seasons in one. Um, we're going to have to see if progs go to determine that. See um, what our expiring contracts look like. Okay, auto sort it. Reset minutes. Bill Roberts got a plus two prog. That's great. Joe Bradley plus ten. Love to see it. Plus three for Joel Shays. This is still not a contending team. This is still not a contending team. This is still a really bad team. Okay. What is our plan to work around that? I think Bob Cousy. I think Bob Cousy makes too much sense to not go for it. I'd like to look at our finances, actually, because if you are new to be, uh, Basketball GM, or you don't know what's uh, going on here, hell, even if you're just, uh, if you've been playing around for a while, you might not have noticed this feature. If I go over to my finances here, the amount of money that I'm spending on these things have different impacts on the game. Actually, we're third in all of them, so it doesn't matter. But they can basically give you boosts, especially progression, which is the big one for us, because, uh, yeah, Frank Fucarino, um, not quite pretending to know how to say that name, um, okay, only person we're going to lose is Frank, so he can go fuck himself, I guess, um, Okay, I just used up my two F-bombs for the video. I'm not going to be able to list this as uh, kid-friendly <laughs> if I don't clean up my act a little bit. So, Actually, it's not listed as four kids. It's just not listed as 18+, plus, so we're fine. 
Okay. Um, whatever. Don't care. Sorry, BBGM. We're doing a double hair very video today. Again, we're just going into the playoffs, and we're going to do the next off season as well. Mike McCarron, you're averaging a double double. What are you doing? You've got a minus seven prog, and you're averaging a double double. That's crazy. Oh, it's 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 long gone now. But that was kind of crazy. Um. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to pick up, uh, it looks like we're going to pick up Bob Cousy here and hope we don't get fired. It's going to be the play. That's, uh, that's going to have to be the play here. <laughs> there is a legitimate chance that we get fired after this season and are completely unable to get a job. And that will be the series. Bunch of teams just contra or just contracted. Do do do. Renew message. Don't fire me. Another season like that, and you're fired. Okay, we're turning things around. We need to turn things around, and we need to do so now. And Bob Cousy is going to do that for us. We are going to severely hope that Bob Cousy does that for us. Um, Ken Murray versus Joe Hudden. Um, looks like Hudden has a lower three-point rating, so I'll just trust that. Because it's just kind of where we're at right now. Chuck Cooper, 26. Uh, Joe McName, 21, so... You know, things could be going worse. Not much worse, but worse. We just need to get some robbers. For no, Mikan was a free agent. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Um, we just need to sign guys to fill out the roster right now. We don't particularly care about how good they are. There we go. That should be enough. We only have four hundred. Uh, we only have four roster spots left, so we should be fine. Okay, boys, give me good news. Good news. Not terrible news. Not terrible news. Good news. Very, very good news. Bill Roberts goes plus one. Um, uh, three of our free agents got solid procs. That's a plus two, a plus two, and a plus five. Joe McName with the plus eleven. Dolph Shays with the plus seven. Okay. Joe Bradley went down three. God damn it. Is this a contending team? I like those numbers. I, I see... Uh, listen, I know I see this, but injuries happen. So what I see is fifth in the league. I'll take that. We have a little bit of depth. Not a ridiculous amount, but it exists. It does exist. And we're fired if we don't do anything this season. So, we need to turn things around, and we need to do so quickly. Led by Bob Cousy, I'm willing to bet we can. But, that's going to be something that we have to see in the next video. Because that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, this has been Rewind on Siege.